In this section, we'll commission a table positioning. This application is not available with Inverter Drive's 8400 state line. We are starting in the project view. Click the 8400 High Line C in the project tree. The device overview will open. First, we have to select the table positioning application. Our test setup is wired according to the Terminal 2 control mode. Therefore, we select this control mode. When we click the question mark, we see the terminal assignment. Control mode Terminal 2 pre-assigns the digital inputs in a way that a maximum of seven positioning profiles can be selected via digital inputs 4, 5, and 6. Via digital input 7, the positioning profiles are started. We'll now define the positioning profiles. First, we assign the positioning function to the positioning profiles. Click the Signal Flow button. You now see the signal flow diagram for the application. This representation can be used to illustrate and check the application set. The MCK interface can be used to alter the function of the individual positioning profiles. Here we set positioning for the profiles 1 and 2 respectively. Confirm with close. By clicking back, we reach the device overview again. We now have to set the parameters of the individual positioning profiles. Click the Profile Input button. It is our task to Traverse the red triangle into the blue frame with Profile 1. Traverse the red triangle to the starting position again with Profile 2. Carry out a complete revolution of the belt with Profile 3 so that the red triangle is in the starting position again. For this purpose, we have to enter the following parameters, which result from the machine parameters of our test setup. For Profile 1, Relative Mode, Position, 950 units, Speed, 3,600 units per second. The remaining parameters do not have to be altered. We'll now select Profile 2 and set the following. Relative Mode Position, minus 950 units, which means we are traveling back to the starting position again. Speed 2,000 units per second, which means we are traveling back a bit slower. We'll now select Profile 3 and set the following. Relative Mode Position 11,290 units. This corresponds to a complete revolution of the belt. Speed, 7,200 units per second, which means we are traversing the belt at high speed. By clicking back, you'll reach the device overview again. We are now ready to start the drive. We'll now enable the controller. Via Digital Input 6, we select Profile 1. Via Digital Input 7, we'll now start the positioning. The red triangle traverses into the blue frame. Via Digital Input 5, we select Profile 2. Via Digital Input 7, we'll now start the positioning. The red triangle travels back to the starting position. Via Digital Input 5 and Digital Input 6, we select Profile 3. Via Digital Input 7, we'll now start the positioning. The red triangle carries out a complete revolution. It is in the starting position again. We'll now complete the positioning with controller inhibit. You have commissioned the table positioning application successfully. To complete the section, we'll now save the project with the changed parameters non-volatilely in the device. 
You can then read it out again from the device anytime. Click the icon with the red floppy disk in the menu bar. Confirm the following dialog with Next. The transmission will start automatically. After the transmission has been completed, you are in the device overview again. In Section 1, Creating a Project, we have shown you how to save the project to your computer. You have completed this section successfully.